Thank you for watching the Griffin Design video, the Monte Carlo project named Blue Magic. Part three of the seat design, template making, and sewing. Enjoy. As you can see here, Dwight is actually using some of his chipboard templates to actually draw out on the material that will be used for the seats, as well as he's using his weights to hold down some templates that he had already created with spare material. We like to use spare material because it does mimic the actual material that we're going to be using. As you can see, he's using every square inch of this material because we don't waste material. The weights help to hold things down to keep them in place as he makes his templates. Did you know that we make acrylic templates? As you can see here, we're using a template to transfer the design on a material. Saves you time, no need for measurements, and a ruler. Just use the template. Hit us up if you need one. Okay, folks, here we go. Speeding through this design phase of sewing the seat together. As you can see, we're creating those patterns that we just had marked on the material using the acrylic template. You keep watching, and before you know it, this seat will be together. Quality over quantity is our motto. Look at him go. But did you know, not only do you gotta sew, but you need a test fit. You gotta sew, you gotta test fit. That's the only way you can know it's gonna be right. You can't just sew it and think it's gonna fit. You always gotta test fit. Oh, what we got here, the seat cover is almost complete. Oh, it's looking good too. Can't wait to get this thing on the seat. 
and get it all hogged ringed down. All right, folks, I want to see comments. Somebody tell me why we got to steam this seat. Why do you need to steam the seat after you put it together? Does anybody know? I look forward to seeing your comments. Did you know at Griffin Designs, we don't paint plastics, we wrap them. There's no point in painting plastics because it ain't gonna last, gonna chip and fade when you can just get it wrapped. Don't be cheap, spend the money and get it wrapped. Hold on everyone. So we got the rear seat for the Monte Carlo torn down. Um, and then from there, I kind of make out a pattern and a lot of different measurements because um, I want to simulate and really be this out what the front seat looks like. So this will have a stitch pattern. This will be a perforated blue suede. And uh, and I kind of wanted to, even though this is kind of a boxy rear seat, I wanted to give it a little bit more look like the front seats. So front seats have these top bolsters, has more of a rounded center section. So. I want to do that to simulate what the front seat looked like. And uh, so, yeah, but um, don't have a car because the car has been painted. Uh, so I have to use my best judgment here, line the seat up as best as possible, made my center line, and then did all my measurements from there. So um, this was going to have the waterfall slope is what they call it. Instead of seam here, it's going to actually, the uh, entire thing is going to waterfall there. And then this will be your seam to kind of break it up and make it look like a bucket seat here and there and then the top I'll have just go straight up with some nice French seams over there as well so that is the game plan for that so that design is mimicked off of these so that is what we're trying to accomplish here please like share and subscribe to our YouTube and follow us on Instagram.